Greetings everyone, Mama God is here and welcome back to my channel. This is Mama God is a space. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for allowing me to be a part of your spiritual journey. This message is for the sign of Gemini. So if Gemini is anywhere in your middle chart or it's Gemini your sun sign, this message is for you. All right, let's go ahead and get into it and see what message the spirit has for you, Gemini. The Father of Coins, the Son of Coins. All right. Eight of Coins. All right. Some of you are, we got some entrepreneurs in the house. Some of you who are supposed to be doing some deep diving, who's really supposed to be digging into your, um, your career or your uh, teaching abilities. Maybe some of you are some teachers of some sort, or maybe you all are learning a new craft and it's time for you to um, share that with others. Whatever this is, you your father used to do this thing or you had a father figure who did something like this and they just passed on the business on to, or passed the business on to you whatever that means for you take that how it resonates i'm going to pull some more clarifiers here we got the happiness card the children card we have like i said maybe this business has been passed on to you and maybe you didn't really want it for real but you just did it because this is what dad said to do and this is what we're doing so um here you have the father of coins then you have the son of coins so like i said this is maybe a father son thing or uh you are wanting to instill if you are a father you are wanting to instill this uh into your children you also have the daughter of coins so uh like i said your children you want to maybe leave a legacy for your children because you have the eight of coins um, eight represents action, accomplishment, and movement, and coins represents finances and security. So, like I said, I, I feel like uh, some of you, um, this may be a sp another specific message for Gemini, but I feel like some of you are wanting to, um, some of you are wanting to pass on your legacy, your business on to the, on to your children. And so now it's time for you to put in the work for you to build upon that legacy. It is time for you to open that business. It's time for you to start that side hustle or for you to uh, go in really hard into this project, learn all you need to learn about this, learn the craft, learn the things that you need to do that's gonna uh, help you excel into this craft. You also have the three of coins. Three represents group, growth, and community. And coins represents finances and security. Um, this business, uh, you're gonna be in partnership with other people. You're gonna be networking with different people to help you better build upon this business or build upon this, um, this side hustle or this career or whatever it is that you, I, I'm saying career just for the sake of saying it, but I really feel like uh, some of you are building businesses and want to leave legacies. And um, like I said, you're going to be networking with some people who are going to help push you along. Um, maybe employees, you're going to be hiring employees as well. Take that how it resonates, but that's just what I heard. Um, you have Miss Ida. Miss Ida talks about trusting your intuition. I know this may be a little bit scary for you um, in this time, and you're kind of testing the water, so to speak. But Spirit is asking you to trust your intuition. Everything that has happened up this up until this point happened for a reason. So this is your time now for you to go ahead and uh, start that business. This will bring you happiness and peace. This will also offer you freedom as well, okay? The freedom that you have been needing for some time. Like I said, again, you also have this children's card, which is, um, like I said, you're leaving, you wanted to leave a legacy for your children. So some of you have sons and daughters. Maybe you want to get them into the business as well. You want to teach them the business and how things run and how things are supposed to go. You want to start assigning different jobs for those of you who are older Geminis. You want to assign different jobs to um, your children so they can start learning the business and how it works uh, for you who have younger children. Um, at least you want to introduce them to this business, introduce them to how 
things work or at least tell them about it um, and teach your sons, teach your daughters, you know, all the things. So again, take it how that resonates. But it's gonna take um, you to submit to your higher self in this time. Um, because there's like this push, pull, push, pull thing um, within yourself, like this inner struggle within yourself where it's like, I wanna do this, I wanna step out on faith, but also, I don't know, maybe this is happening all too fast, maybe this is happening all too soon, and by you being an air sign, you're gonna be so much in your head about it, but spirit's like, you can relax, you can chill, this is, you're okay, you're okay, kid. What are the messages that you have for Gemini? We are a little over five minutes in and Spirit is already giving you the things, okay? Um, Spirit is going to be giving you new and creative ideas. You had three cards that came out for you. And this is interesting because uh, in my shuffle for you, Gemini, oh, and here's a Gemini card. You had this card that says, uh, water, I take time to fill my cup work with me not against me thank you i take time to fill my cup so spirit wants you to take care of you in this season and whatever old things that you were holding on to you have this card that says last quarter moon i find healing and letting go okay so whatever things that you were holding on to from the past or maybe your past job um maybe some of you are thinking about moving to another job and that sort of like job security is is what's hindering you now i'm not telling you to go out here and just quit your job today and go after your dreams obviously be smart about it um you know start stacking up your money and stuff like that if 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 this is what's going on for you at this point in your um in your cycle of life if you're wanting to uh create uh a new streams of income if you wanted to be an entrepreneur for real Obviously, take the steps that you need to uh, save up your money, start investing into um, the business, into materials, into learning, or whatever it is that you need to do. Use that money from your job to start financing your um, old job. If there are some of you who are not um, who are who are not working, and you have the means to go ahead and do so financially. Go ahead and start putting yourself out there. Go ahead and start making those connections, um, doing your social media things or whatever it is for you. However, Spirit does want you to let go of the old way, the old way of thinking, at least, at the very least. Let go of that old way of thinking and allow yourself to evolve, evolve into a new uh, frame of reference, okay? And it, there is healing in that. This is why you have this card that says, I find healing in letting go. You also have this Gemini card, Gemini, woo -woo, and it just fell out for you, okay? It says, it is safe to slow down and listen. Like I said, I know this is could be um, maybe a frustrating time or um, maybe some fears or worries or anxieties around this, and you are in your head. Like I said, you're in your head about it. Should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I go? Should I not go? Is this right for me? Is this the right choice? Should I do it? All of the thoughts that is going through your mind, Gemini, and Spirit is telling you to slow down, calm it down, you're going to be fine, everything's going to work out fine. Maybe some of you have been let go of your jobs, from your jobs, and you're like, okay, what do I do now? What do I do now? What do I do now? Slow down, take some time to listen. With that submission card, Spirit is wanting you to submit to your higher self. I do want to read that submission card for you Gemini the number 30 may be significant for you but let's go into it and see what spirit says to you with submission part of you is submitting to something that isn't right for you you know this very well because you verbalize it when you're alone I hear you saying I hear you saying I can't take it anymore I don't want to or it's, in, or it's unfair. I understand you because I feel the same way. This is your higher self talking to you. At the moment, we're both carrying an inner burden, making us feel deeply tired. This fatigue may be emotional, physical, psychological, or energetic. The more you submit to this energy, emotion, situation, or relationship, the more you 
the more trouble you have listening and trusting me. Open the page. Become aware that your needs aren't being heard, that part of you is submitting to something that isn't aligned with your needs and expectations. By being in the energy of liberation, you will recreate a connection with me. Pay attention to your intuition. Again, like I said earlier, that intuition card did come out for you in the Hulu deck, Miss Ida. Pay attention to your intuition. Trust your intuition. Pay attention to your intuition again so you can create space for change and renewal. You may feel you aren't receiving any signs or that your intuition is weak, but the submission, I'm sorry, but the submission you are under is blocking everything. Free yourself and allow yourself that new space you deserve. Everything will become clearer, okay? Oh, it says part of your energy is trapped in the past. Part of your energy is constantly repeating a situation, event, or relationship which mark you negatively. This is disrupting your heart chakra. Okay, your heart chakra. Uh, you may be looking for outside answers. You, be, you may be looking for answers outside of yourself, but you have already see, received the answer. You already received signs teaching and learning you teaching or learning you're looking for okay the answer is in your past and we talked about all of that last time with Jim and I about healing your past traumas and with your mamas and the daddies and the things so let all of that go which brings us back to the first quarter moon that says I find healing in letting go okay I find healing in letting go so Jim and I do with that what you will, Aran. What other messages do you have for Gemini? What other messages do you have for Gemini? The black tourmaline card keeps showing itself, and that card says, get out of your own way. Uh, this card just popped out, smoky quartz. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, because Gemini, your spirit wants you to remember your worth in this time, okay? You're worth having everything that you want to have in this lifetime. It's going to take you and your vulnerability to learn to want to let it go. And as you are learning to let it go, get clear on what it is that you want to let go of. Get crystal clear on what you want to let go of. You also have this card that says Malachite. It's, it's time to transform. Letting go of the past, embracing what is new. All right. All right. <laughs> um, and Spirit wants you to find your calm. Okay. I know this is a lot of everything going on, but Spirit wants you to be calm in this whole situation. All right. Final message for Gemini. What other messages do you have for Gemini? Okay. Yeah, you have this seven of knives, which talks about turning over a new leaf, doing things differently. This is what this card is talking about. Turning over a new leaf and then start speaking positively over your life with the ace of sticks. Okay. It's all up to you and what you want to do. What are you saying? What do you want? What do you want to have? Again, Spirit is saying get clear. Get crystal clear for what you want and what it is that you want. You put that out into the atmosphere. Okay. You put that out into the atmosphere. The boss card showed itself to me. I'm going to take that out. And you also have a challenger card at the bottom of the deck. Boss. Okay. I said y'all supposed to be some entrepreneurs out there. It says, master of wealth, risk, investment, management, leader. You're very much a boss. Okay. You're supposed to be in a, a position of being a leader, of making moves. Sometimes it may be a risk, but sometimes you have to take risks in, in this business. You know that. Okay. You also have this challenger card that says, seek, uh, seeker of adventures, courage, challenge, and goal. All right. Yes, it's going to be a challenge. Everything is, it comes with its own level of, level of difficulties, but it doesn't mean that these goals cannot be reached. It does not mean that things cannot be accomplished. Spirit says, go with it with courage, okay? 
Just do it and do it afraid. You it's you you are right. You are right, Gemini. Okay, go ahead and do that thing. You got this card that says genius at the bottom at the top of the deck when I pull. It says bearer of gifts, extraordinary, intelligent, innovative mind, exceptional ability. Okay, you're smart. You know how to make this work, and your business is going to be successful. Your business is going to be successful because you have that that mind, that creative mind, that thinker mind. You know how to solve problems. You go after the things that you want to go after with uh, tenacity, with uh, focus. Sometimes the focus will be all over the place sometimes. But when you have a goal in mind, you do what needs to be done to get that goal uh, reached. Okay? And you don't let nothing stop you. Because that's just how your brain works. And I love that for you. Your business is going to be successful. All right. That is your message, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your spiritual journey. If what you have heard today resonated with you, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe and leave me a comment and let me know how you're feeling, okay? If you haven't heard this today, know that I love you. You are loved. You are worthy. And you are worth it. All right, Gemini. Till next week. See you then. Take care.